Shabbat Shalom Aleichem, and welcome to Black Gods of Yahweh Media. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Pazat Bain Matz. Baruch Hashem, Yahweh. How do we love you, Yudei With all our minds, with all our hearts, with all our soul, and with all our might. Praise you, Wahe, Yahweh. And praise you, Wahe, Beit Nun Sofit, you, Wahe, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. This is my first movie review. In order for me, Yaakov Ben El Shabak Yahweh, to do this, you know there has to be something important in the film. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie. I actually watched the premiere on November 10th. However, if you've been following me closely, you know I only generally do videos once a week or every 14 days on the seventh holy day, mostly referred to as the Sabbath. This video is not about whether it was a good film or a bad film. That is a matter of opinion. I thought it was decent. Before I get into the details, I'm going to go back some years ago when I heard one of the messengers of Yahweh, Aaron Israel's address. It was in reference to the first Black Panther film. He said, how do you guys like seeing all those black people in charge? Well, that's how it actually is in Yahweh's kingdom. It's flipped upside down which I call the nine is right side up. And on this plane, it is the six right side down. You guys know that if you've seen that video that I did. He also said, there are many other races in the kingdom of Yahweh. And that's verified in Revelations 7 and 9. And in fact, they would not trade places for anything in this world and give up what they have to be rulership or to be in rulership over us and be out of the kingdom of Yudewahe. Now let's get into the lesson. I nearly jumped out of my seat when I heard Killmonger say in Black Panther 2, in this particular scene in the movie, he is speaking to Shuri, the new Black Panther. They're having an argument at first. Remember this scene when you watch the movie. He says something to the effect of, don't disrespect your mother. The queen was much greater than your father was. She gave her life to save that girl from the lost tribe. Riri Williams she is the so-called African-American, the next Iron Man in the movie. Ironheart is her actual name, but she's a so-called black American. The girl from the Lost Tribe, he said it plainly and openly. We know, and I'm going to prove this, it means the lost sheep from the house of true Israel here in New Jerusalem, USA the descendants of the transatlantic slave trade of Deuteronomy 28 and 68. If you are new here and you're thinking, come on, man, they're just talking about a lost tribe of you Negroes from Africa, then let's take a look at Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan. Let's take a look at him from the first film. He is wearing blue tassels of the children of Israel in Numbers 15, 37 through 40. Look at the blue tassels that he is wearing. This is in the Bible of the children of Israel, the blue tassels that he has on. Let us take a look at this scripture. Numbers 15, 37 through 40. Tassels on garments. The Lord, Yudei Yahweh, said to Moses, Speak to the people, the children of Israel, 
and tell them to make tassels on the corners of their garments throughout their generations and to put a cord of blue on the tassel of each corner. Let's take a look at that again and then we'll go back. That's exactly what he's wearing. And you can pull this information up and you can look at it from the front. And it shall be a tassel for you to look at and remember all the commandments of the Lord Yahweh to do them, not to follow after your own heart and your own eyes, which you are inclined to do whore after. So you shall remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God, Yahweh. So without a shadow of a doubt, Ryan Coogler or someone who influences him did this on purpose. There are countless films made by Hollywood that detail hidden messages about who we really are. You don't believe it? Let's take a dive into Romans 9 and 26. Take a look at Romans 9 and 26. Romans 9 and 26. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them in the Christian church amongst the Mormon, you are not my people, but the curse of Ham, as told to us. There in the hills of North America shall they be called the children of the living God, Yahweh. It's right there. All over the world and in America, people are telling you the so-called black America. It's being said on the street corners by the Hebrew Israelite camps, professional athletes. The media is talking about it. Social media is talking about it. And Hollywood has always made secret references about it. Yahweh's word does not fall on deaf ears. Somebody's going to tell you this. That means he's going to make somebody tell you this. I don't care who it are or who it is. I don't care who it is, who that person may be. He is going to make them tell you if it says that in the Bible. And it says it in Romans 9 and 26. Not only was Killmonger wearing Israelite tassels, which is important, but at the end of the film, the first Black Panther, he tells T'Challa before he dies to throw me into the ocean where his ancestors died. Because even they knew death was better than slavery. That's another reference to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 which is the same event as the transatlantic slave trade. The ancestors of the so-called black Americans, the black Caribbeans in Canada and in Europe. If you tie all this information together from the first film, if you haven't, go back and watch it and remember these details. And add what he said in the second film. The reference he made to the Queen of Wakanda. Saving Riri Williams. The girl from the lost tribe. And if you have any spiritual awareness. An open mind. Or if you're just being honest with yourself. Then thus you will conclude the same thing that I have. This is Black Gods of Yahweh Media. I want to say once again, Shabbat Shalom Aleichem. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Ben Yahweh. Selah.